Hey guys, so today I'm here to film another haul and I'm really excited to show you stuff that I've gone over the past month. Um, if you hear whirring noise in the back, it's really humid inside my room, so I turned on a fan. Yeah, so I just want to show you stuff that I've gotten over the past month. I've bought six pairs of shoes, which is crazy, and um, I got a lot of cute clothes. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you are my Tims. I'm so excited that I finally got to get these. I've already shown them, I think, in one or two videos, maybe just one. Um, but these are just the premium six inch work boots. They're just a classic pair of Tims. Can't wait to wear these with like dresses, tight shorts, um, jeans, leggings. I've already shown them in an outfit of week video and I just think they're super cute. Um, and I love them. Next up, I did get three pairs of slides this month. First up, I got these Nike ones. This is a shoe box. I don't know why I'm showing this. I saw these on Pizza Pizza Nisa's Instagram, and immediately I knew I wanted to buy them. Um, they're just the Nike Benassi slides, and they're white with like a cognac brown logo. And I just think they're super cute. Yeah, and they're super comfortable as well. Next up, I got my Adidas um, pool side sandals, pool slide sandals, I never say it right, so I decided to get them in red and white. Um, I absolutely love these sandals, they're super comfortable, you do have to wear them for a couple months for them to kind of mold to your foot and give you a little more arch support, but then once that happens, they just are super comfortable and good for walking around in. Then I got these fashionable slides, um, these are from the brand The Fifth Label, these are just like black cow hair I think it's called. Um, slides and I thought since I wear slides so much I should buy a black pair and I should buy a fashionable pair but seriously I do not need any more summer slide sandals or any kind of slide sandal ever and I don't want to buy any more because that would be really over excessive. Speaking of a shoe that I wear all the time and I probably have too many of I got a new pair of Chelsea boots or ankle boots I guess. Um, these ones are from Brass Plum so I did get 20% off discount. They are comfortable. I can stand them in long, long periods of time. They just have a zipper up the side, and I bought these in a size 7. The final pair of shoes that I've purchased this month are wedges. I know I bought a lot of shoes this month. These ones are for recruitment um, for later on in the fall for my sorority, and they're just a pair of brown wedges. I don't have any brown wedges, and we were required to buy a pair to wear with like a burgundy or wine dress. And these ones are from Steve Madden. I just think they're really, really cute. I've already worn these to work a couple times, and why I really like them is, first of all, they're very comfortable. They have a very thick one-inch platform, and the pitch isn't too high, but they still are a high pair of wedges. Okay, then I got a couple things from Brandy Melville this month. First off, I got this top, which I already have in three other colors. Um, but I have it in black, white, and burgundy, and then I know this looks like burgundy, but it's like a red color and I just wear this all the time to parties but also they look really good with high waisted maxi skirts and I really like that color on me and then I got these pair of low rise white shorts they're just kind of stretchy and comfortable um, I just thought I would need a pair of white shorts in my wardrobe so I grabbed these ones Okay, so I have purchased a bunch of work clothes um, over the summer, obviously, because I am working, and I did get them from Nordstrom, so this is probably the most expensive purchase that I did. These pants are just um, navy with a black tuxedo stripe down the side, and then they have zippers in the front, and they're from the brand Rebecca Taylor, which we sell in our department, and I bought them after the um, brand representative came in. I just needed a pair of pants, um, I was running out of outfit ideas, and I wear these all the time. I need to get them pinned, though. So. Um, they're really cute and really comfortable, and I have shown them in some Outfit of the Week videos. And then I got this dress from Theory, and this was such a good deal. Theory, the brand, was getting price matched by Bloomingdale's. I bought this for 40% off, 20% off for the price matching, and 20% off for my store discount, and it's just this beautiful paisley pink dress and it has leather trim on the armholes and on the neckline and I've worn this a couple times in videos it's my favorite dress at work um, it's just really cute and I think the leather trimming is beautiful 
and it's definitely an upcoming trend because we got so many pieces in for fall with leather trimming on them. I got these shorts from Alice and Olivia and we do sell that brand um, on our department but I actually bought these online. Um, and I bought these also for recruitment. They're just a pair of white cotton shorts. Um, we're supposed to wear them with a pink top and white sneakers. And these are just really comfortable. They're good for work. And I think they're going to be really versatile for work and play. And then I got this top from Alexander Wang. And this was around 60% off. I got it from the website The Outnet. And if you know what net a -Porte is, it's a very high-end designer website. And this is kind of where their back stock and sale items go. So it's just a white high neck top with leather trimming. Absolutely love it. Um, it has like a frayed hemline and it also has a cutout in the back and a high low hem, but it's kind of backwards. Um, I just think it's so cute. I've also worn this in an outfit of the week video. Okay, so from Free People, I got this bralette. I'm obsessed with it. I'm definitely gonna be buying it in black. It's just so high quality. I totally recommend buying um, bandeaus and bralettes from Free People. I have a very similar white bralette from Urban Outfitters. I have a couple actually that I need to throw away because I've worn them so many times and they're all ratty and trashed. And this is definitely going to be replacing them. I love the lace. It covers up my bra strap but then it's ruched in the front so my bra properly will fit underneath it. Then I got this bikini top for the summer. It's kind of difficult to show, but it's this pale lilac color and it has little ruffles on the front. And I was really interested in purchasing from this brand after Tess Christine on YouTube did a swimsuit video with their stuff. And it's just a size medium. I got a couple things from Urban Outfitters, which are also mainly work dresses. Um, this dress is from the brand BDG and it's this really lightweight, thin sweater material but it looks almost like a distressed denim it has distressing on the sleeves and on the hemline and it's just a really good dress for work it's super comfortable and super lightweight but it looks really nice on and then this is one of my favorite dresses that I've gotten um, this is from kimchi blue and it was on sale around 50% off and I tried it when it was originally $100 and I was obsessed it's a beautiful crochet lace and then it's like a soft cream color with baby blue straps and then it has um, an open back. I've worn this definitely in an Outfits of the Week video. It's from the brand Tiger Mist. I got this white dress which is an Australian brand and I've been trying to get this dress for quite a while now. It has cutouts in the front and it's also racer back and I've just been trying to get it for a long time and I finally got it. Um, and then I got these black pants, which are just stretchy, comfy black pants that I can wear for work. And I needed a pair of black loose pants, it's just like a basic. And then I got this romper from Lovers and Friends, which is um, this burgundy shade. And this one definitely needs to be altered. The sleeves are a little bit long on me, but the front is super open and I had to wear it. Um, with a safety pin, but I did get to wear this to my J. Cole concert with YG, Big Sean, and Jeremiah. It was so good. I absolutely loved it. He's absolutely amazing. Um, but this romper is super cute, and I thought it was perfect for the occasion because I wanted to look dressy, but still, obviously, it's a concert. This was pretty expensive, but I actually had a 40% off code because they screwed up my original order, so I was able to discount the romper quite a bit. Okay, so that's all for my haul. I know I got so many things, but I did get to buy it all with my first paycheck. Um, tell me what your favorite piece was and anything you'd be interested in seeing how I style. Things are slowing down, but it is definitely um, busy right now at my job. So hopefully I'll be able to film more, but I'm not too sure. Um, so thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.